uh, features will uh, show how to synchronize programming over uh, many uh, liquid foots. Um, and uh, I just have a very small uh, setup here just to demonstrate. Uh, I have a uh, controller that I'll be doing most of the foot tapping on. And this is already programmed with um, presets, songs, and set lists. So as I scroll, you'll see uh, different uh, presets in there. Same with songs and set lists, and we'll go through that later. Uh, and then I have uh, sitting right next to it a uh, liquid foot that I just uh, powered on for the first time and it has nothing but default programming so it's empty basically uh, this one I just pulled out uh, as well for the first time and that's empty and then uh, I have a little uh, liquid foot junior here um, and uh, let's go plug in two more well you know for this uh, demo let's just keep it simple we'll just leave three uh, for touring rigs uh, there are multiple networks of uh, liquid foot products that can go together. Each network can have 20 liquid foot controllers attached to it that can synchronize, and you can have up to 20 networks. So uh, that's uh, quite a few uh, liquid foots um, within a, uh, a, a rig. Uh, typically, you'll have three or four, uh, some on stage, some off stage. Okay, so we're going to take the programming off of this main system, which is the only one programmed and we're going to do a synchronization to the uh, three products that are on its network. So the way you do that is go into the utility menu and you'll oops, I passed it. Uh, you'll see MIDI bulk dump which is a feature that's always been in the liquid foot products. Uh, you'll, the up button would send uh, normal MIDI dumps so if you're going to a computer uh, for backups or anything of that nature you'd use the up button and then you'll notice the send button, uh, I'm sorry, synchronize button, which means uh, if I hit the down button on the controller, then it will uh, go into a sync bulk dump. So what does that mean? Well, let's go into an empty liquid foot. Actually, we'll do them all. And uh, we'll go into the utility menu, the first one, and just hit the up button. And that goes into MIDI processing mode. You can also press and hold the S16 button while you're powering on and it'll jump right into that menu. So let's go ahead and do that for this unit as well. Uh, okay, so that one's in MIDI processing mode. And let's go ahead and put Junior here. Uh, junior into uh, processing mode as well. Okay, so we're all all three of the slaves are in processing, and now I'm going to go ahead and press the down button. When I do that, you'll see the entire system being dumped. And if I go over here, you'll see the temple light doing its thing. You'll see this one doing its thing, and you'll see the liquid foot doing its thing. So I will come right back. Okay, you can see all of the machines uh, rebooting at the same time. And so if we get out of the menu system, you'll see that we're on sequence one. And that's what the programming looks like. Uh, you'll see now the new junior, uh, new liquid foot that's been programmed uh, looks identical. And the set third one right over there identical and of course uh, junior also is identical okay what I'm gonna do is um, uh, take one of the liquid foot pros over there and um, uh, plug that in instead of junior because it's easier to see